This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. The first example that we're going to go through and have a look at is in relation to discontinued operations and when that disclosure actually should be made. So when is it becoming a discontinued operation? So what we've got in the scenario is it wants us to look at a scenario for a car manufacturing operation. So if you like meeting that whole idea of a, a separate line of business and looking at how it should be treated in the financial statements for two years, December X5, and is it the December X6? So what does it go through and tell us? It tells us this single line of business has been making losses. So if you're making losses, you tend to start to, to get rid of things, uh, which you know is sort of an indicator that there will be a potential discontinued operation at some point in time. Losses are also an indicator of an impairment, but that's for another time. And it says, following a meeting of the board's directors, it was decided to close down the operation on the 31st of March 20x6. Now, the reporting date is the 31st of December, and the car manufacturing operation is treated as a separate operating segment, so a separate line of business. So what do we have? Well, let's think about it. We know that it's getting sold in, in X6 or closed down, but are we going to make any note in X5? Well, in X5, we're asking ourselves the question, is it discontinued? Well, the answer here effectively is, is no. It isn't discontinued. Why? Well, one, It's not being disposed of, so it needs to be disposed of, doesn't it, to be a discontinued operation, or it needs to be held for sale. And it's not held for sale. Uh, why? Because effectively, it's not highly probable, is it? There's not enough information in there to make you of the opinion that it is highly probable. We just don't know whether it is or isn't going to close down. You could put a note within the account to say that, look, uh, the directors have decided to close it down. But as of yet, uh, it isn't closed down. And effectively, you know, this whole idea of it being held for sale, it's not being held for sale, is it? It's being closed down. So there's not going to be any buyer at all. So it's never going to be held for sale. So it could only be discontinued when it's closed down, isn't it? Hell for sale. The keyword is it being sold here? It isn't. It's being closed down. So in X six, is it discontinued? Well, yes, it is, and the reason why it is is because effectively it's now being closed down, hasn't it? Uh, it's gone. It's finished. It's stopped in that year, hasn't it? So therefore, its results in 20x6 will be shown as discontinued, separate from the continuing operations. In 20x5, it will all be combined as one. And you might just make a note into the accounts as to what decision has been made, if you like, in relation to IS10 and your events after the reporting period. There we go. Excellent. Take a break and we'll come back and look at another question in a moment.